What's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you and help you learn how to practice your aim on mouse and keyboard on Modern Warfare 3. Right out the gate, I want to let you know that if you are any good at controller, or if you're decent on controller, I advise that you just practice with controller and stick with that because there are very few pros when it comes to playing with mouse and keyboard on Modern Warfare. Um, honestly, the only thing there there is that it, is good for us is that we can flick faster and we have a little bit more control because we're using our full arm but when it comes to the aim assist for a controller and stuff like that you might just want to stick with that so without saying anything else i'm going to go ahead and get into what i do here to kind of help me practice before i get into rank games and stuff like that um you want to go ahead and just go to your modern warfare thing here to all the way to the right you're going to have private match so click that uh create your private match and you're just going to make this as easy as possible for yourself, unless you don't want to. But this is this is just what I do um, personally. So however you want to do it, you can do it. Once you're in here, game setup. I go with shipment as my, my map. It's, it's the smallest thing. It's easier to find people. Just All we're doing is practicing our flicks, basically, at this point. So we're going to practice flicking on people and killing them. And shooting him in the head as much as possible. So go to your game rules. The only thing I change here is I make this spawn ammo mags. I'll move this up here so you can see it. Spawn ammo mags, I put it at max. That way it's hard to run out of ammo because these bots aren't going to really be shooting at you. Um, I do advise going into like a shipment game or something before you actually play rank to kind of go against people who are shooting back at you. But for the most part, this is just to kind of get me to 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 flick better and 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 make sure that I'm I'm landing on where I need to land on when I flick, um, but at the same time there'll be no there'll be no flinching because these things won't be shooting at you. Um, so once you do that, everything else is pretty much good to go here. Just however you want to really set up is up to you, but just make sure you put that max ammo on because you need it. Otherwise, you're gonna be running out of ammo very fast. So go back after you do that, um, and then back out again. Okay, so you got yourself a team one. Team two, make it six people. And like I said, I put mine on recruit because they don't do anything really. They're just there to, to take a target. Um, if you do veteran, they're going to throw flashbangs. They're going to throw grenades. They're going to shoot back at you, and they will kill you a few times or more. <laughs> so just make it recruit. These guys are going to basically look at you while you shoot at them. Confirm that. Go ahead and start it up. All right, once you're in, I basically just use the gun that I'm going to use in rank for the most part, which is the HRM right now, but I have rumors are getting rid of it, but whatever. Right now, we're just we're just learning how to, to, to flick on things. So just kind of run around, flick around, try and land as best you can. I'm not great at it either myself, but I just do this every day to kind of practice and get myself accustomed to what my mouse feel, my hands feel like. And... One thing I will say is that I used to think, because as you can see, I, I have a huge mouse pad here. Like I have a lot of, of space to work with, and I can I can I can move my arm a lot, like back and forth here. And I used to think that with all this mouse space, I would be better with a like a going very slow on things. But I, it's just not the way that I shoot. I I actually have I think a th three. 3.15 or 3.25, I'm not sure. I think it's 3.15 with a 1600 DPI. And so like, it it is it is very touchy. Like if I barely move my mouse, I'm still moving a little bit. But if I go lower DPI or if I go lower sense, I can't flick as much. And for mouse and keyboard, you need that. That's your only advantage you have when it comes to, to aiming like this. So just basically come in here, do what you want, flick on people. Sometimes it's better just to stay in the corner. If you stand back in a corner somewhere and let them come to you, that way you can just kind of flick on the best you can, let them come to your way. They eventually will. Just gotta give them there, like that, and then just kind of, just kind of, just kind of see how you are with your flick and if you're landing it on them or not. Um, you can adjust from there if you need to, but I don't advise changing your ADS that much because if you do. It's going to end up hurting you in the long run because you're just going to be constantly trying to change your ADS or your, I don't know why I'm just calling it ADS, I should be saying sensitivity. You'll be constantly trying to change your sensitivity to something different and then you got to relearn it all over again. So, unless you're doing absolutely terrible, 
with things, don't 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 keep changing things up. I used to do it all the time, and so it's a huge mistake that I made. And so yes, this this all I'm doing here is waiting for them, trying to flick through them as fast as possible, and then just just do what I can. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. That could have been bad. Like I said, it's it is it's nice to just stay in the corner and try to um, catch masks that come at you. Um, the other thing I will say is if you're if you are if you're learning a new sensitivity, then you might want to if you're like if you're overshooting them. Let's say I go if I flick on a guy and I'm going this way. You don't want to you don't want to come back. If you're coming back, you're wasting too much time. If I flick and I go over, I don't, I don't want to come back to that guy. You need to be, you need to be either a little bit short or dead on. See, I, I went too far on that one. That was not good. But see, that's what I'm saying. You're, if you can, if you can practice and get it perfect, that's cool. But if not, you might have to change some settings to get yourself to be like at least short, because you don't want to be overdoing it every time. If you're overdoing it every time, then you're hurting yourself. See, that's what you want. That's like the best case scenario. They all lie like that, and you can just flick to each one. That's your best case scenario, and that's basically what you're honestly here for. Um, so that's basically it. Any questions? I wouldn't. One thing I don't recommend is um, is trying to find like your your favorite streamer's sensitivity and, and and going with that. Whatever you're comfortable with is whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I don't even like to share. Like I know I share what I what I'm on. But I don't like to share it because you should never be just basing it off of what other people use. You should be strictly doing what you're good at and what you've learned with. Because if you change it up, you got to relearn it all over again. And, uh, yeah, so that's just my advice. But you get the point here. On this, they're not really they're not really shooting at me too much. But the goal is to, like, if you want to just, like, even look this way and try to flick to them as fast as you can, do whatever you got to do to try and get yourself perfected on that obviously it seems like they're always coming this way so i could look this way the entire time and then just try and flick as best you can because they're not gonna really kill you see what i'm saying just just kind of get your flicks down and trace when you're shooting make sure you you're not don't look at your crosshairs look at the enemy you want to you want to be tracking the enemy not your crosshairs so I got a nuke <laughs> um but just like Make sure you're looking at the enemy, not your crosshairs, because if you're looking at your crosshairs, you're not tracking the enemy properly. That guy snipe me? Oh, shotgun, okay. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try and I'll try and do what I can. I am strictly mouse and keyboard. I haven't played controller in a very long time. But this is what I try and do to practice. Aim labs is also a very good thing. I can bring up a video of what I do in aim labs sometimes too to try and help me with tracking and stuff like that. But when it comes down to this. Tracking and trying to, to get your shots immediately is, is where you want to be at because this is really your only advantage you have when you're playing mouse and keyboard. Unless you're cheating, obviously. <laughs> we don't like cheaters around here. But um, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I will try and make more videos about what I do and how I practice my aim and stuff like that. Or my movements and stuff like that when it comes to me playing mouse and keyboard. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.